Dave Kersner. I'm here in the IK Multimedia Studio. I'm very excited to present to you T-Rex, the Farm Stone Room. This is a new plugin in the series. You get the sound of a live room in Genesis Fisher Lane Farm Studios that's exclusively recreated inside T-Rex. So let's take a look at what this plugin does. You have three channels, starting with, on the left here, the dry. So this is just the sound of the actual original track, or if you are running your tracks through it, or in this case, sample tank virtual instrument running through it. Then you have the second one is a stereo room sound. I'm going to bring it up in volume. Okay, and then the third one is a mono room mic, uh, and I'll explain the three different sounds. Let me tell you quickly the story, too. So, basically, Hugh Padgham was working on Peter Gabriel's third record with Phil Collins on drums at the townhouse, and that had a stone live room, meaning that the walls were made out of stone. And it had a certain reflection, a certain sound that you don't normally get. It, a lot of studios don't have that type of uh, live room. It's a rare thing. So, um, what happened was uh, there's a microphone called the STC 4021, uh, nicknamed the ball and biscuit because it looks like a little ball with, a, with a, the biscuit on top. Uh, and it's an omnidirectional mic, and it was used uh, just for the talk back, for listening to what people were saying in the live room, and it would pick up everybody in the live room so that, uh, and it would run into the SSL through the listen mic compressor to compress it like heavily so that if someone was talking quietly in the back of the room, you'd be able to hear it as the engineer in the control room. Well, what happened was Phil Collins was playing drums and the listen mic compressor was on and it sounded really cool. Hugh Padgham noticed that it sounded cool, so he patched it in and blended it in with the drums and that's how you get that sound, that huge smash drum sound that you hear on songs like In the Air Tonight. Both the townhouse is gone and when uh, Genesis built their studio, Fisher Lane Farms, in 1980. They modeled the stone room after the townhouse, and now that studio is gone. But luckily, we were able to capture that sound for all time exclusively in T Rex, the farm stone room. Okay, so you have two different rooms a stereo room and a mono room. Uh, for the stereo room, you also have a compressor on top. For the mono, we modeled the SSL Listen Mic Compressor, and that's what LMC stands for right there. And the reason we did that is because the sound that you hear, let's say, on Phil Collins' In the Air Tonight, that big tom sound, um, and on Intruder by Peter Gabriel, and it's kind of an iconic, huge some people say like the gated drum sound, but it's not really that it's gated. You could gate it, but it's that it's compressed and that it's a, like a smashed room sound blended in with dry and also a cleaner room sound. So I'm going to show you how that works within the plugin. At the top here, we have a blend, a mix knob that lets you have just the sound of the room and then or the amount of compression. Um, and that's really useful. In fact, that's, that's huge. Um, so if I go... That's, that's the stereo room. Now I can solo that so we hear just that without the direct. And that's with no compression and if I want to add a certain amount of compression, I can do that. I can even change the width. All right, so you have this channel, I have it soloed. When I take solo off, you hear it now, these two, the dry and this stereo room blended together. And that's with the mix knob up, so you hear full compression if I want to bring it all the way down. So I'll change it so you can hear it. Okay, now I'm going to bring in the mono crush without any compression on it. Now, if I want to just hear it solo just on its own, it sounds like this. If I want to add the listen mic compressor,
Now this is supposed to be, the reason it's called mono crush, it's like a smash drum sound. On its own, it kind of sounds cool, but when you blend it in, it gives the drums a certain like uh, weight and growl and intensity to it. So I'll take the um, solo off and I'll bring it in gradually the level of the whole thing with compression. You have a high pass here, size, Some of the elements, the key elements really to getting big drum sounds are the room and how it's processed, the sound of the room. And the sound of the room is one of the most rare things these days because people have studios in their bedroom or they just have studios with, without live rooms, aren't recording drums live per se. And so this is a great way to bring that studio element back into your mix. But it's handy also to be able to have some of the sound design tools uh, that would be appropriate for getting a big huge drum sound and that's the compression that's built in. Of course you can process it further after that with T-Racks or any other plugins but it's nice to have those tools in the box. Alright, I'm going to show you something else that's kind of fun thing you can do. See this curtain closed? In a very reflective room such as the farm stone room you had these stone walls. Sometimes if you wanted to dampen it a little bit you had a curtain that you could close. Hit curtain close. So you have all of these controls. You've got width for the stereo. You've got the size. You have a high pass filter, pre-delay, decay. Um, you have level controls, your input gain, your output level, EQ on the individual stereo room, and the mono crush. Now this rare sound of a stone live room is preserved in a plug-in. It comes actually with a new update that's M1 compatible as well for T-Rex, for all of T-Rex, so that's exciting as well. And go to ikmultimedia.com and try it out for yourself. You can get the demo and uh, try it on your tracks. You can use it for so many different things, uh, but obviously drums is the main thing. If you want drums to sound massive, it doesn't get any better than the farm stone room. Yeah.